thank you for tuning in. First off, I want to wish everyone happy holidays and a great rest of your year. In this video, I wanted to cover a recent drone pan update. We now support the DJI Mavic Pro currently in beta. And before I get started, I know you've probably heard me say this many times before, but drone pan is free, available in the iOS app store and completely open source. So we need contributions, whether you're a developer, you can write documentation, help with graphics. We'd love to have you as part of the drone pan project. I know there has been tremendous conversation within the drone community about the DJI Phantom 4 camera versus the Mavic Pro camera. And I wanted to put together this video that demonstrates a panorama that I shot for a friend of mine. This is a solar company out of Austin called Self Reliant Solar. And we wanted to shoot a panorama of one of their install locations. And you can see here at this target, this is the panorama as seen from the Phantom 4. Very nice resolution, detail, and I think it does a great job of just demonstrating the scale of this installation as well as the surrounding area. I'll go ahead and zoom in and you can see the level of detail. You actually have to get in pretty far before you start seeing any pixelation. This is actually as far as I can zoom in. So now let's take a look at the Mavic Pro version. Now, this is taken a little bit further back. We wanted to get a bit of different perspective here. And I will admit I did botch this panorama a little bit with the Mavic Pro. I had it set on auto exposure. And what we normally recommend is locking your exposure, setting it to manual, finding your shutter speed and ISO. But I'm going to go ahead and zoom in with the Mavic Pro. And you can see there's still great detail, great resolution. So this is the Mavic Pro version. That's the Phantom 4. And I will put links to both of these panoramas below just so you guys can take a look and come to your own conclusions. But I was really impressed with the quality of the output, given you guys know the profile of the Mavic Pro. Very portable, super small camera, lightweight, and in my opinion, did an amazing job on this panorama. And in both cases, this is a fake sky that I stitched in. I always like to get that bit of extra effect so that users can pan all the way up as well as all the way down to the nadir. The Mavic Pro does have a smaller field of view. So by default with the Phantom 4, we normally shoot six photos per row. By default with the Mavic Pro, you can see we're set at seven. So we need one extra photo per row just to get enough coverage so that you don't have any gaps when you're stitching it together. We're just really excited about the capabilities of the Mavic Pro for such a small and relatively affordable drone. We're currently working on Phantom 4 Pro support as well as Inspire 2. So please check out our Facebook group. The link is below. If you have a Phantom 3, Phantom 4, Mavic Pro, Inspire 1, Definitely recommend checking out Drone Pan, joining our group, and getting involved with the Panorama community. Just wanted to share that update. I'm really excited about going out and shooting more Panoramas with the Mavic Pro. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.